I fear about the process of becoming dead, but not the process of being dead, because that's just a translation or a transition to another existence. I know that my son is alive. I know it's not a hallucination. He's just gone on to another place, a place that I'll go, that I'll see him again. I will. I know I will. I think Uncle Joey is in heaven because he wouldn't have been smiling at me if he wasn't, or he wouldn't have been happy. If you realize there's an after and that love is the vehicle that keeps us in touch, then that tells you, I think, a lot about what love is for in this life. And that love survives death. And I really believe it does. Especially when there's a strong love, it never dies. It never dies. And of course, I'm not afraid of death anymore, either. I'm not afraid of it at all. I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm not in a hurry for it now, because I've got too many interesting things going on. But I am uh, looking forward to it. And my mother's looking forward to seeing me, too. I've learned that death and the grave is not an end to anything. Maybe it's just the beginning. I think that considering these questions is what makes us human is the definition of the human. And this is what I mean by our, the fact that we are spiritually intelligent creatures. Human beings are defined as the creatures who ask ultimate questions. We need to know the meaning of things. We need to know why we are here. We need to know what it means that we are here. We need to know what it means that we are going to die. But the tragedy of the individual death aside, death is a part of the process of life. It's, it's a, another stage we go on to. And when you reframe human life like that, you see us as part of the context of the whole history of the universe. Our bodies are made out of stardust. Our minds follow the same laws and principles that bind the stars together. We're part of this wonderful cosmic drama. Death is part of the wonderful cosmic drama.